Bakhtor Prance transformed into a battleground between security forces and demonstrators. This is the seventh week of ongoing unrest in Haiti. Protesters' anger boiling over as they struggle with chronic gang violence and spiraling inflation that Haiti's UN envoy says has now transformed into a humanitarian catastrophe. We are here because of the misery, because of the hunger we are enduring. Prime Minister Ariel Henry has no dignity. He cannot rule the country. Contributing to the unrest is a fuel crisis which was ignited when the Prime Minister announced he would cut fuel subsidies last month. A move that sent prices at the pump soaring. One litre of petrol can now cost up to $10. A blockade by the most powerful gang in Haiti on the capital's main fuel terminal exacerbated the crisis. They are refusing to leave until the Prime Minister resigns. As a result, the country's main water suppliers like Culligan Water say they've ceased production and distribution. The shortages has forced hospitals to scale back services, while some supermarkets have closed. The country's poorest are bearing the brunt of the disastrous effects of the crisis. The lack of drinking water has led to a cluster of cholera cases as people desperate to keep themselves hydrated resort to drinking contaminated water. The confirmed outbreak in Haiti pushed the Prime Minister to make this desperate plea in a televised address Wednesday. I'm asking the entire international community to stand with us and help us fight this humanitarian crisis. We want potable water and medicine to reach sick people. We need doctors and nurses to reach the hospitals. Haiti still bears the scars of the last major cholera outbreak which erupted after the 2010 earthquake. An estimated 10,000 people were killed.